Alright, hello everyone, this is Mouse961 with another tutorial video on Warp Drive inside of the mod pack World of Minecraft, which is created by us over at funsquaregames.com. If you haven't been there, go check it out. Also, you can check out worldorminecraft.net. It is also run by us, but that is the website we use for the World of Minecraft mod pack. In this video, I'll be going over how to create a weapon grade laser, because we also have other kinds of lasers, but in this one, we'll just be going over how to make a weapons grade laser that can be shot at towards people, towards ships, and will break blocks if shot at blocks. Uh, for this, you will need a bunch of wired modems, some network cables, advanced computer, all of these are from Computer Craft if it is installed in the mod pack. You also need a laser medium, also known as a particle booster, a monitor, weapon controller, laser camera, laser, and some sort of power and way to move power around. In this one, we are using cryostabilized fluid ducts because they have an infinite amount of power that can be pushed through them. Also using a creative energy cell from thermal expansion because, well, it doesn't run out. So to start off, we have a very small laser here. There's a fairly small setup, uh, basic gist of it is a laser goes in the front right here. This is the part that shoots. It's a shooty laser. Uh, you have the particle boosters behind it, which are kind of like batteries that all funnel into the one laser. And on the left side here, you have a laser plus camera, which is being used as a targeting laser. What happens is when you shoot the laser, the targeting laser will shoot a single red line to whatever you're looking at. Then the shooting laser will shoot the laser to wherever the red line was then drawn. Uh, also, the targeting laser does need power, it just does not need as much power as the shooting laser because it's only targeting. Some other things that you'll need are the monitor, which right here I have the monitor. I have the weapon controller, which only provides a script to the computer on how to operate all of this stuff. A bit confusing, but it's easy once you get the whole, once you get the hang of it. Also, you see on the top I have everything wired together. I have the computer weapon controller, monitor, laser cam, and laser, all with wired modems. Also note they are red on top. Red rings around them mean that they are on. If there's no red ring, that means they are not on. Such as this one over here means that this one is not on. To enable it, all you have to do is right click on it and it turns on. So for this point, uh, if you right click on this, you'll see that it is video channel 115. It's in the bottom left corner. And I can just kind of look around. I'm just moving my mouse around. And uh, it also says left click to zoom, right click to exit, and space to fire. Uh, also, you should be careful when left clicking, because you can actually punch things as you left click, and it's generally a bad thing. And as you can note, I just broke it. But it happens. Um, so yeah, what you do is you look around, and inside of here is where all the computing happens, which I can go over more right now. If you press the... actually, for your purpose, I'll restart this computer completely. You saw a screen that popped up, showed all the lasers that are attached to it, and it also has some instructions involved. First, if you're saying later for the laser for the very first time, you want to press 1, and it will create a laser battery. Um, a battery is... Usually what we do is we do a group of four lasers, because you can build them in a plus shape, which I will show you later. Um, and it consists of a primary laser of the group, and then all the sub-lasers that go with it. So if I press L right now, if I press L, it gives me the option to first pick a laser head, which I already have, and I, the bottom section that says booster is now where you would choose the other three lasers that go with it, and what, the, what that is used for is if you want a boosted laser, which is four times as strong as a normal laser, the three la three other lasers would shoot to the primary laser, and then the primary laser would also shoot, firing all the power in one laser burst out the end of the laser. Uh, reasoning for that is some of these stronger blocks require more power to bust through them. Lasers will not travel infinitely. As lasers travel, they lose power even if they're going through space. If they if they go through glass, they lose power. If they go through air, they lose power. If they hit a target, they lose a lot more power, which means that if you shoot at a very tough target, you might only bust through one or two layers, where if you shoot at a soft target, you could go through much more, probably closer to 10. So yeah, that's a very small setup. Um, it really doesn't do too much. I mean, I shot at a few things around here, and you really can't tell that I shot. Uh, there's one right there, I think. Yeah, it just broke one or two stone. It didn't do too much. 
So now we are going to go to a larger setup I have. Um, so again, just go up to the monitor, you right click on it. If you do want to zoom, I highly recommend you go to your inventory because you can still left click in your inventory and it properly sets the zoom. So out of my inventory, I now can see I have a lot of ships here in front of me. And, you know, I'm not sure what I have set up, but I'll fire and see what happens. As you can see, there is a lot of lasers. Also, it's a little bit laggy because there's 4, 8, 16, 24 lasers, I do believe. And these lasers are just tearing through these ships. But also notice, as I shoot this one, it's not really doing that much damage to parts of the ship. Because parts of it are actually stronger than the rest. So I'm just going to right-click to exit, show you what I'm running in here. Um... Also, I forgot to mention that the laser stations, which is number two on the keyboard, uh, bottom of the screen it shows you where the keys are. Bottom two is the laser stations. This is where you can take multiple batteries and buy it to a single laser camera. So, for example, I have my main, which has all six of the batteries that are just right of us. I have the left, which is the left three, and right, which is the right three. Uh, usually, the only reason you'd separate out different stations is for different sides of your ship. Because lasers, if you point them in the wrong direction, they will try and shoot through the ship that it is on. Generally, bad thing. So if you have lasers in four different directions, you could have sort of four different stations to cycle through, and that way you're not shooting into the same ship. So for this one, you also know that bottom of the screen right here, it says multi, and over here it says scatter mode. What that means is that every single laser will shoot its own laser, and also it won't all focus on the same point. As you saw before, I was shooting and it was just going everywhere. If you press S, it goes scatter mode off, and now when I fire, they'll all be very directed into a single accurate point. And now, if you come back to here and press the F key, you can notice you notice you cycle through single, multi, and boosted. The single mode, what it does is it just takes the primary head and just fires that. It's for use whenever you are not using very much power, because lasers can draw lots and lots of power. The multi mode is what I was using before when every single one shoots by itself. And it can put out a lot of firepower, it can scatter, it can put really big holes in ships, and it can also hit a lot of blocks at once. If they're very tough blocks, like the superior or advanced hull from warp drive or obsidian, you're not going to bust through it on the first try, probably. But if you go to the boosted mode, this is where it gets to be pretty fun, because this way it takes all the power, focuses it into a single point. Yes, you'll have fewer lasers shooting out, but you're almost guaranteed to go through whatever you are shooting at. And excuse the lag, but I do have a lot of stuff going on right now. So enough of that, you see that we have our three modems here, and all the rest of them are out in the lasers there. Also, when you first start a computer, make sure you start it after all the modems are on, because it will load up all the stuff, as you saw there. So now, I'm just going to head outside and fly and show you the entire setup. This is what we're shooting with. The maximum number of boosters you can have per laser is 10. And each booster holds, I think, 40,000? 400,000 RF, which is why I have the massive bank of creative cells there. You could also use normal, uh, normal thermal expansion cells and set them up the exact same way. It's just that they'll be drawing power very quickly because this does go through a lot of power. If you rapidly fire all the lasers, it is possible to drain all the mediums and it takes a couple seconds with this cable to get that much power back into the system. Um, and I think that's it. As here's the four, the set of four lasers I was talking about before. It has four lasers right in the front. The modems can go on any side. You just hook them on, and you can see it blinking here, red to black. It also shows a number in the bottom left corner. It's generally a good idea to keep an eye on which modems you turn on first, because the very first one you turn on is number one. The second one is two. So as you go through it, it's a good idea to do that 
in order to keep track of which lasers where. For example, on the far right side here, is one is on top, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, so on and so forth. So it's just better if you can keep an eye on that beforehand to just make your life simpler. Because, as you can tell, with 24 different lasers, it's hard to set up every single battery. Actually, I can go back into the batteries menu here now, and you can see the first time you come into here, there won't be anything in here, and you just have to press L, and you can pick your first laser. And it's probably not going to be on the one you want, so you're going to have to go find your number, hit enter for the main head, and then you have your three boosters, and then once you're done with that, it will just say nothing. Also, I should note that if you ever put in something you don't want, you can always go back into it and reconfigure it. Let's say I don't want number four in there. I can hit backspace on four and it just says no laser. You would enter again, and then you go to the main menu. See, no laser, no laser, and done. And then laser number four is completely gone. So I think that's it. Uh, if anyone has any questions, please let me know in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them. Also, later on, I should be putting out more and more videos for Warp Drive, helping everyone figure out how to play Warp Drive. Thank you, everyone, and enjoy the rest of your day.